Welcome back to Resources with Marie, and I am your host, Marie. Today, we're going to be doing another work from home opportunity. This time around, it's with a company that we often watch on a daily basis, possibly in the evenings or in the morning before we go to work. We're watching a series, and it's with our company here, or with the company, I should say, with the company Netflix. Now, if we go to our Netflix.com, you go all the way to the bottom. Here we have jobs. We're going to hit on jobs. Uh, I am going to hit up here on the search tab because I tried here and it wouldn't give me, it wouldn't go into the search. So I had to go here to the actual search tab and it takes you to Netflix job. Another short way to get here very quick would be www.jobs.netflix.com slash search. And that will take you directly to Netflix jobs. Here you're going to hit remote. And then you're going to hit search. Okay, it doesn't give us exactly how many jobs there are, but it does say that this is their remote jobs. So a key thing here is when you see the little pin, the little location pin, right? You're going to make sure it says remote on it, guys. To, if you are looking for a remote job, if you're looking for a remote job, make sure it says remote on it before you apply if that's what you're looking for. Now, if you have no problem with going to a physical location, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the likes button. Welcome to all our new subscribers and to our oldies but goodies. Thank you so much for sharing, for your comments, for hitting the thumbs up. You guys are the best. Also, it's taken me a little bit longer to answer the comments because as you guys see, I post every day. I'm the only one. You know, I record, I research, I edit, I post, I do my own marketing or my own promoting. And it, it, you know, I have other responsibilities as well. So that's why it takes me a little bit long to answer you guys' comments now because I'm constantly work, 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 work. And it takes me a little bit longer, but I do try as best as I can to answer. Also with uh, YouTube, I don't know why I answer and sometimes it doesn't go through. So it'll seem like I didn't answer you when reality I answered hours ago. So I don't know why this is happening that my comments are not going through. So if I haven't answered you in more than two days, then it's probably that. It's probably that I thought I answered you, but the comment never went through. So excuse me for that. Now, here we're going to pick a particular... Uh, a particular position to see if now these are all more like sophisticated I would say positions so they might require you to have a lot of experience as well as a lot of education we're gonna try senior security software engineer it's a remote job up here it tells us a little bit of what the company is right Netflix is the world's leading streaming entertainment service with 200 plus million paid memberships in over 190 countries enjoying TV series, documentaries, and featured films across a wide variety of genres and languages. The Security Service Engineering Organization support the Netflix workforce by creating an operational authentication, authorization, and cryptographic software service. Our, IM, our IAM use cases will continue to become more complex as we increase investment in Netflix original content production ecosystem, including gaming. Our workforce and partners are global and they access our information with different patterns from a variety of location and devices. Okay, the role. 
This role is a unique opportunity to contribute to architecting and building identity and access security service and solutions. You will be part of the identity and access control team focusing on core functionality to support all the Netflix ecosystem, enterprise, studio, and gaming. You will take ownership of system design, implementation, partner integration, and rollout strategies for some of our foundational service and IAM solutions, which includes but is not limited to fine-grained access control, policy-driven security, identity, governance, access management, privilege access management, user provisioning, deprovisioning, and federation. If you are curious about some of our teamwork, you can watch this building identity for an open perimeter. Okay, so they have here a I guess a video that you can watch and there's also a blog just if you I guess are wanting to fill out for this position you can more or less see a video or maybe see how their offices work so you'll have to hit here I'm not gonna let it run here on YouTube because I don't know how you know with the guidelines and everything I don't want anything to go wrong so I'm not gonna hit it but you guys can go in and tap on it and maybe there'll be a video there that'll give you a little more access and in depth about what this position is or what the company how it is to work with the company what you will need to be successful you are a pragmatic security engineer with a proven track record of architecting and building complex identity life cycle and access control solution strong i IAM fundamentals you have to have authentication authorization and accountability and identify life cycles in depth experience designing and building complex authorization models by making informed decisions using deep understanding of industry standards such as and they give you here some letters uh, experience working with authentication and author authorization protocols and framework here they give you some programs I'm thinking I don't know too much about online security like that you believe in risk focus scalable security approaches with a strong technical background in developing and maintaining low latency high resilience and high availability service in-depth experience in at least one modern programming language such as Java, preferred C++, C hashtag, or Python, and mastery of object-oriented design and programming. You prefer collaboration and problem solving over process and mandates and are also comfortable dealing with ambiguity and independent decision making. You have excellent verbal and written communication skills and a product-focused mindset to build the right solution and extensive documentation for your stakeholders and customers. Nice to have experience running services on top of a cloud computing platform. So here they give you the programs that they want you to master. Experience in continuous integration and continuous deployment in cloud platform experience with here we have another uh, technology programs that you have to know about experience with graph database of course you'll be filling out information is expected right if you are a security within anything whether it be uh, internet or anything you will have to be you know filling out some sort of type of paperwork let it be digital or, or manual. Experience with GraphQL. So if you are more if you are more within the a techie type of situation, then you can actually go here. Now what's nice about this particular position is 
they're not asking you for any education. Some people know how to work with some of this stuff from previous um, job experience, you know, not because they went to study for computer technician or or what's the other thing that they call it? Uh, oh, gosh, I forgot the IT at work used to talk a lot to me about this. And if you know, you know, any of this, any other programs or anything, they're not asking for vaccination. They're not asking you to have X amount of experience. They're just asking you to know how to work with the certain programs. So maybe you have worked before for a company actually uh, looking into the security, the online security situation, and maybe you already master some of this. So if you know any of these programs or can work, you know, you don't might maybe you don't have to know them all. You can know one or two and you know still apply. Hey, you never know. So here we have a little bit of the application process, right? As I've always said, always have your LinkedIn prepared if you're looking for remote jobs because most sites, as you guys have seen with previous jobs offers, if you just sign in with LinkedIn and go into LinkedIn, I guess it's a one stop shop type of thing, you know? If not, you, it's not necessary. So if you don't have one, you can actually just put your name and email and phone number. Remember, everything that has a star, you need to fill out. Here you have uh, your resume is a must. Additional files are not a must. But if you have any of your certificates, guys, remember some platforms now are offering free certifications on some of this stuff. So do check the free certifications. Also, I have another one coming out, a free certification. So you check, check it out. Check it out. Maybe you have some of them that will tell you, explain to you how to do some of this stuff. And you can just upload all of that here if you have certifications, if you have some sort of type of letter from a previous job saying, you know, how good your work was. You can also upload that here. If you have a cover letter, you can upload it here. Remember, you have a maximum of five documents that you can upload here if you really, really want this job. Okay, uh, voluntary self-identification. You guys know we have always had this on all job applications that are remote. This is on mostly all, right? As soon as you uh, give in all your information here for your uh, voluntary self-identification, that's just confirmation to make sure it's the person that's up here on all the documentation, you submit and you are already on the waiting list to see if you qualify for this job. So these are all the jobs that or this is the job offer that we have for today with the Netflix jobs. If you guys are proficient or if you guys are uh, into any of the online or I shouldn't say online. If you're more into the sophisticated job offers, you can go here and actually search through the two pages. They do have two pages. Search through and see if you if there's anything that might interest you. Of course, they don't tell us the pay here. So that's something as well. They, I guess they negotiate with you when you when they call you, maybe they'll negotiate what offers they have on the table. So. This is the offer that we have for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit a like. So we're here uh, offering every day as many job opportunities as possible. Thank you so much for being a part of the community. Thank you for your supporting your kind words. Thank you so much. Go to our Instagram resources with Marie. I have everything linked down below. Resources with Marie on Instagram. TikTok at resources with Marie. The Facebook link I'll leave down below because it doesn't have a direct link. So I'll leave that down below so that you guys or yeah, it doesn't have like a direct handle. Like I can't just put my name till it has a certain amount of followers. So you guys go over there and follow and uh, check out the Etsy shop. We do have an Etsy shop, which is www.etsy.com slash Wait, did I say that right? www.etsy.com slash shop slash budgeting on the go. 
it has their budgeting principles if you guys are interested in that thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in our next video